going to talk a little bit about what an environmental financial product is, how they work in the traditional market, and why we see all in for climate and blockchain technology being fundamental to the transformation of this asset class and the future of environmental financial products. So what is an environmental financial product? We see an environmental financial product as representing the environmental attributes associated with an asset or action, whether that's the green benefits uh, of a megawatt hour of energy produced or the amount of CO2 saved by carrying out an action. That's how, that's how we see environmental financial products. And in the first case, um, with the green benefits of a megawatt hour of energy produced, that might be a renewable energy certificate. The amount of CO2 saved might be a carbon credit. Now, why are these instruments important? They're important because they allow you to separate the green benefits and those attributes from the underlying asset itself. And this unbundling permits producers to raise capital against those green benefits by selling them to those that need them to meet their sustainability goals. So there's benefits on both sides. You have parties that need to meet their sustainability goals by acquiring green energy or using green energy. They can then go and purchase certificates that represent those green benefits. And on the other side, from the energy producer side, um, you can raise financing uh, against those green benefits. So it's, it acts as almost as an incentive mechanism. So it's a very important part of the market. Now, in the environmental product market, there have been a number of issues in the past. And we see all in for climate and blockchain technology has been able to solve many of those issues. Those issues are really around things like provenance and double counting. So by provenance, what I mean is how a product was created, what was the underlying source of the data that created that product, where did the product come from, when when was it created, um, and when was that data created. That that's a very important piece of the market because if provenance isn't so, isn't isn't clear, then the actual end product really has little value. Now away from that, you've got a double counting issue. If you go and create a renewable energy certificate that is based on certain certain data that comes out of an asset, you need to make sure that that data is only being used for a single product. If I've gotten, gone and bought a renewable energy certificate that relies on certain data and that data has been used for another product, then there's obviously double counting. So double counting has been an issue in the past, and it's something that we think can be easily solved with blockchain technology and the All In for Climate platform. Away from that, you've got other accessibility issues, the ability for a party to go and either uh, create an environmental financial product so on the supply side and then also buy an fin environmental financial product. How do you participate as a buyer? That's difficult in today's market. There are a number of intermediaries on the issuance side, on the exchange side. And when you go through retirement, it's difficult to verify underlying data from a third party perspective. And there's no single market globally for these products. Now, this market is going to become more and more important as we move forward on the rec side or the environmental attribute side. You see more and more corporates and institutions pushing towards being 100 percent renewable. You've got about 200 entities that have signed up to RE100, become 100 percent renewable by 2030 got over 170 countries that have renewable energy targets. And there's a huge focus on the quality of product that is being used to meet these targets. So we've got more and more corporates and entities signing up um, to renewable energy targets. And the focus from administrators in this market is on the quality of the underlying product being used to meet those targets. On the emission reduction side, we've got a growing market as the Paris Agreement's coming to effect. You've got 195 countries signed up. You've got industry-specific targets, so Corsia, oil and gas climate initiative. And then we're seeing the proportion of carbon emissions that are being covered under carbon tax schemes and so forth ever increasing, which means that the markets that we're heading towards, the carbon markets, emission reduction markets that we're heading towards, are going to be much larger than the Kyoto markets that we, uh, that we experienced in the past. We're just going to quickly walk through what an existing certification process would look like around a renewable energy certificate. So a renewable energy certificate typically represents the environmental attributes of one uh, megawatt hour of renewable energy. So if you're a renewable energy asset owner and you wanted to create a certificate, you'd probably go to some sort of certification or tracking organization. You'd supply them manually with some sort of data around your power production. They might do an independent third party audit then they'll probably appoint a third party issuer to issue a certificate. 
that certificate would then probably need to be dealt through a broker or an intermediary to the end certificate buyer. Now, that end certificate buyer would normally be someone like an institution or a corporate who has a renewable energy target. Uh, they would normally not purchase that certificate uh, directly from you, the renewable energy asset owner, or from this, or from the certification platform. They'd probably go through some third-party broker, and then that buyer needs to use that certificate. And the way they do that is they need to tell the tracking system to retire it. Once they've retired it, they can then make a claim. So as you can see, this existing system involves a lot of manual process, a lot of intermediaries. There's risk all the way through that process. The all infra solution is one that takes out many of the intermediaries and creates an auditable, tradable product that originates from the source. So our software, our platform, connects directly to the smart meter, directly to the source of the underlying data. It creates a product um, that is usable across different markets. So you can use that underlying data to help create something uh, in the re in renewable energy certificate market, in the carbon credit market, and so forth. You can do it with no intermediaries. So it's a straight through process um, from data collection through to creation. Everything is auditable and verifiable, so you will always be able to tie the end product directly back to the source data. And that end product is tradable and able to be custodied by almost anybody. It's able to be retired by almost anybody. That means that it's going to have far more uh, broader appeal or a far greater appeal across more markets than uh, the current uh, suite of products on offer. So if I Go back to our previous diagram and I adjust it for the all in for climate product suite. What you'll see is you've still got your renewable energy asset owner still generating energy. It's connected directly into the all in for climate platform. That data is recorded and then can be and then can be used to create an environmental financial product like a renewable energy certificate. From a certificate buyer's perspective, they're a member of that platform. They can purchase that certificate. They can then trade it if they wanted to or they can retire it. Um, everything happens within the All In for Climate platform. There's no intermediaries. There's no need for separate brokers, separate tracking systems, separate certification. It can all sit within All In for Climate. So it becomes a far more streamlined process, both for the originator or the party that owns the renewable energy asset and for the buyer, the party that's looking to purchase that renewable energy certificate. This system, um, makes it very, very easy to plug the technology in. It makes it very, very easy for a buyer to come through and do KYC and get accredited to purchase. Very similar to a broker, um, a third party broker in the traditional market. Now, how does a transaction work? So this is a very high level schematic of, of what a transaction would look like in the renewable energy space. You've got your renewable energy asset with a smart meter connected to it. That smart meter would provide data which would be recorded within our smart contracts, which would then be used to create a renewable energy certificate. That certificate is purchased by a third party buyer. That third party buyer can then transfer the certificate either within our platform or outside our platform or can retire that certificate and make a claim. Now, the sort of data that sits in that certificate is quite standard. You look at things like where the project is, what its nameplate capacity is, uh, what project type it is, sorts of vintages. So what is the uh, meter data at the start of a vintage, meter data at the end of the vintage, what sort of utility um, that renewable energy producer might be connected to, serial numbers and that sort of thing as well. So all that data is connected directly to that renewable energy certificate. Now, if you go to climate.allinfra.com, uh, you'll see that we have some simulated assets on that site. And if you go to the assets tab, you can click through one of the simulated assets. Now, the first simulated asset we have on there is called the Lockhart Road Simulator. And we have a digital renewable energy certificate, or as we call it, a DREC uh, on the site at the moment. And you'll be able to walk through that product, see all the details uh, on that product, and then go through each specific vintage. I'm going to talk through that right now. So if you go to the top of the page, what you'll see is there's asset specific data. They've got coordinates of the asset location, uh, the energy type, fuel type, nameplate capacity, installation date. 
Then if you go down, you'll see the production specific data. So how many kilowatt hours of, of energy have been produced, uh, when the last vintage was created, when the next vintage is going to be created, and then links to the smart contracts at the bottom of that summary. If you scroll down that page uh, on climate.allinfra.com, you'll get to separate vintages under each DREC. Now, vintages are very important. Vintages basically tie specific production data to digital renewable energy certificates. So if you think about how this works, every single uh, power set uh, is, is different. So if you have uh, power that's collected between January and June, that might be tied to one vintage of renewable energy certificate. Power data between July and December is tied to a different uh, vintage of renewable energy certificate. And you can see all of that on the site. So if you look at vintage number two that I have here, you'll see it has a specific start and end date, a specific uh, start in meter reading, a specific end in meter reading. It also has the details around the uh, meter that actually collected that data. If you went into vintage one, vintage three, you would see uh, different starting readings, different ending readings, and different dates. So what you'll see is that each vintage is fungible uh, within that vintage. So all of the digital renewable energy certificates in vintage two are fungible amongst themselves, but not fungible with vintage one. And that's very important because it separates the data from different time periods. Now, if you want to go down and inspect the source data, you can go all the way down to the blockchain level. We've integrated uh, with the Alethio Blockchain Explorer. If you click on the smart contract links uh, within the site, you'll be able to go down and enter a vintage number. Once you've entered that vintage number, you'll be able to read the minted amount, the meter reading at the time of minting, the block number of the prior vintage, and uh, the block number of this minting. Now, that's very important. Once you've got that block number, you'll be go able to go into one of the other smart contracts, enter that block number. You'll be able to enter the uh, meter key for the specific meter, and you'll be able to get the meter reading that was recorded in that block. So you're able to verify all of the data that's included on the website uh, all the way back to source. Uh, and that's very important. When you think about this market and the emphasis there is on provenance, on avoiding double counting, on ensuring that you have good data underlying these products, being able to go all the way back to source data and verify source data is absolutely critical. That's why we think the All Infra Climate Platform and blockchain is going to change how this market, how this market operates. Now, if you want more information on All Infra Climate, please go to climate.allinfra.com. You can sign up for our newsletter at allinfra.com. Um, as I said before, we think that all in for climate, the application of blockchain technology is a huge step forward for environmental financial products. It's going to enable better products backed by better data, able to be accessed and traded by more people more economically. Uh, thanks for tuning in today. <laughs>